Well, congratulations on such an incredible film. Well, um, thank you. How does it feel after 13 years to be returning to Pandora? You know, there is nothing more rewarding as a filmmaker than to finally share your movie with other people. And we're getting to do that. And the reactions that we've gotten have, you know, uh, exceeded our expectations. And, and we had high expectations. And so that's really great. It's amazing. And it's... It's so incredible to see the visuals. Has like technology improved? I mean, it has obviously improved. How is learning about new technology helped re-establish Pandora to new audiences? And well, I think you touched on something about learning about new technologies. We have over the years learned how to work with these technologies better. Avatar, no one had done what we were doing before. We then learned from that, applied it to Alita Battle Angel when we did that, and picked up from there and said, okay, Alita is now our floor. Let's go for a whole new ceiling. And we did it with people that have never left our fold. You know, people like Richie Bainham. He's been with us since 2005. And uh, Joe Letteri at Weta FX. These are our family that, that make the impossible possible. Amazing. And it's Pandora, but we also get a new part of Pandora with the water folk and the people who live there. How is it developing this new side and with, so, like I said, so much water? <laughs> so it was really interesting when we first started talking about doing the sequels. You know, there was a, a voice that said, hey, if you want water, go to the ocean planet. If you want snow, go to the ice planet. But then we realized that we could travel our whole lives here on Earth and not see all the wonders it holds. And when I say wonders, that's both from location standpoint and from a cultural standpoint, because we want to introduce audiences to new cultures as we do in this movie. And we said to ourselves, what is a great environment to allow people to escape to that they might not get to experience? And the underwater world that, that Jim has certainly spent a lot of time in, I've spent some time in, um, that affords that opportunity to create a transportive experience for people, one we hope they want to return to. Absolutely, and I feel like everyone growing up always wanted to be a mermaid. <laughs> no, but you see, you know, it's funny, when you talk about growing up, in the first movie, I think everybody at some point dreamed of flying. Yeah. You know, and I think in some ways everybody had dreamed with that encounter in the ocean of whatever it is, whether not, not going as far-fetched as 20,000 leagues under the sea, but giving us the opportunity uh, to be inspired by the likes of Jules Verne and combining it with our world and taking nature and playing it out of contents, context to allow people to truly, uh, you know, experience something. And technology in the theater, the theater projection systems, allow us to present it now in a way uh, where 3D is that window into that place. And, and I've heard from people that said, I felt myself holding my breath. I felt myself doing this. That's great. A hundred percent agree with the holding the breath thing. I just wanted <laughs> to go and explore this like ultraviolet neon world under the sea. It's beautifully done. Um, and it must have been, it's so many people who worked on this. How is it balancing all those people and all those visions? Well, you know, I think uh, balancing the people is one of the more complex challenges for any producer. Um, first and foremost, you use the word vision. I think it's important for us as a producer to define a vision uh, for everybody. If you don't explain to someone in one of your departments what the vision is, how do you expect them to reach that same bullseye you want? So we have to continually explain that. But we surround ourselves with people who are not afraid to challenge themselves. People who don't want to rest on the laurels of their past. I've, I've met people, oh, well, this is what I've done. That's in the past. Move on, challenge yourself anew, and don't be afraid to fail. And we have to create a system in place where we allow people to fail, and we are there to support them and push them forward for that vision. Amazing. And uh, as part of this vision, you've got some new cast, some new young cast who come in and are just bright. They're so beautiful on screen to see this kind of new family. How is it casting new, new Navis? Well, we, we felt it was really important these to have younger characters in this film. We, we didn't want the film just to be told from the perspective of the parents. And we defined these characters. And then the challenge was finding actors who could play a scene opposite Sigourney Weaver, could play a scene opposite Kate Winslet, you know, and, and the like. And Margie Simpkin, our casting director, did a global search. We found Jamie Flatters here in the UK to be a part of our team. We found, you know, Philip in a, a, a Filipino living in Canada. We found Dwan Evans 
in New Zealand. We found Bailey Bass, you know, in, in New York. We found Jack um, in West Virginia. We found Tr Trinity in Los Angeles. And it has been so heartwarming to see how these young people have grown up and the mature people they have become today. And you see them on the screen and their purity exists in their performances. And it's, it really, it really does. Um, final question, it's a bit of a silly question. But I ever heard that you speak proficient Navi. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, you, 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 I have enough trouble with English. I, 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 I could say a, 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 few, a few words, you know, okay. I could say orayo, uh, which is thank you, inate kamea, you know, shuang, you know, but that, that, that's about it. Um, but, you know, Paul Fromer did such a phenomenal job uh, with the language. When, when we first met with Paul, who created the language for us, I was very naive. And he met with Jim and I, and a day later I said, so Paul, how long do you think it's going to take you to get us back? You know, because we'd given him the script and we knew the lines we needed to translate. And I was expecting two weeks, I was expecting three weeks. He said, six months to figure out the structure of the language. And then I could start doing the words. I was like, what? But that's how he approached it. And we have a fan base around the language because it is now a real language. And I'm very thankful for Paul for bringing that sensibility to it. That's amazing. Um, how do you say thank you in Navi again? Irayo. Oh, you, uh, Irayo, I think. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Today. Great it's been to a see pleasure. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you